What is going on, everybody? Back, back, back from the Vegas trip, back from the, the Jiu Jitsu tournament. Happy to be home. I was in Vegas way too long. Um, I don't know if you, any of you guys been out to Vegas, but I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of Vegas. Two, three days and I'm already done. I know it's the thing to do and oh, we're on the strip and we're this and we're that. That's cool, I guess. But for me, I'm just done with it. I remember the first time I went, I was going insane when I was out there. I was loving it. You know, I was doing all of the Vegas stuff, you know, all the top 10, th top 10 things to do in Vegas and blah, blah, blah. I was doing all of that. But after when I came back and I was just like, okay, I did it, it's fun. I don't think I, I can do it again. And then I've just been going back for tournaments, but um, it's literally, I barely even hit the strip. Uh, you know, I go get something to eat after the tournament's over, but I don't know, I'm just not into, I'm just not into the whole Vegas thing. So I was ready to get back, ready to get back shooting these videos. Um, you know, I don't have a Mac, a MacBook, so it's like I couldn't really upload anything that I really wanted to while I was out there. We're shooting a ton of stuff, but like it's just saved now on, on SD card. So I definitely need to work on that. Hopefully when this channel blows up, you know, I can finally treat myself to a new MacBook and give you guys some more, you know, content. But um, look, let's get back to what we're talking about today. Can you still be swole while you're fasting? And I don't even know how this video came about. I was talking to a couple of people, you know, just getting ready for the tournament and I dropped, if you guys know how jiu-jitsu works, um, you know, of course it's by belt, but then it's by age and a weight class when you compete. So I was competing at heavyweight. Well, actually I started competing at super heavyweight, then I dropped down to heavyweight and everyone was like, okay, we, we, you can't, there's no way in the world you can get even lower. You're too big, too much muscle. And then for this tournament, I dropped down to medium heavy and for the, not this tournament coming up next, but the following one, I'll probably, probably be competing at middleweight. So and I'm still small, I'm still big, you know, but the thing with fasting is, yes, you do lose weight, but you can drop a lot of body fat from what I've seen in myself and other people relatively quickly. But here's the thing, here's the, here's the caveat to that, you know, because a lot of people begin to doing this inter intermittent fasting. It's the new thing. Everyone's always talking about it. Listen, guys, this, it's nothing new. Fasting has been around forever. Intermittent fasting has been around forever. It just became popular. Then everyone started to hop on a bandwagon. And then all of a sudden, it's just the thing to do. Listen, we've been doing it. If you've been training and in the fitness world and really making it your lifestyle, you knew, you knew about fasting way before some of these actors and actresses made it popular. I'm not gonna get on a tangent about that, but you know it's been around forever. But the thing with it, you can still be swole, you can still be big, you can still keep your muscle with fasting. You just gotta be disciplined enough to do it the right way. And that's where people always get it messed up. And that's why a lot of these videos, yes, I show you the workouts, we, we get crazy. I show you all the crazy stuff with the kettlebells and all of that, yes, cool. But I also need to talk about this part. This, this is the muscle that we need to work on also, making sure we're keeping that just as strong. Because like I said before, I can give you everything. I can give you the workout plan, how many sets, percentages on, uh, of the weight that you need to be using. I can give you all of that. You know my phrase, you know my cash phrase. Are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? That's the thing, I can give you the whole blueprint but are you gonna do it? And that's where fasting comes in because a lot of times, okay, fasting 14 hours, 16 hours, I do anywhere from 12 to 14 hours and I'm fasting every day. And then once you have that window to eat, I pretty much just eat clean, um, no carbs all the way through. So 14 hour fast, once the window opens up, then I'm usually uh, eating anywhere from three to four meals no carbs, and uh, the fat content is relatively high. And then of course I keep the protein high. And that's just, that's not just for the month or a few months, that's for the year. You know, going, going into several years I've been doing it now. Now, here's the thing, where the discipline comes into play. When you are eating, you have to make sure, if you are taking this seriously, you wanna really make 
some significant jumps, you got to start tracking the macros. It doesn't have to be crazy to where, okay, you're, you're, you're measuring it down to the gram and, and how much, you know, salad and you're weighing the salad. It can be if you wanted to. It's really up to you. It's really up to how strict and how accurate you want to be. Or you could just have just a ballpark or just a good baseline. Okay, these of tracking your macros, these are gonna be the baseline numbers that I'm gonna eat every day. And then you can mix and match them. With keeping that and staying diligent with going to the gym and whatever physical activity that you're doing, staying consistent with it, you can absolutely still stay swole while you're fasting. I do recommend you do some sort of weight training consistently. If you're watching this channel, I'm pretty sure that you are in the gym hitting some steel. You know, just doing cardio and body weight exercises. Yes, you will be in shape, you, it can get you healthy, but as far as getting swole or staying big and keeping um, or preventing you, you know, your, your muscles from going into atrophy. Yes, you gotta have some resistance. You gotta hit the gym, absolutely, okay? Now, just that alone is gonna require sticking with your program, having a program, and, see, and making sure you carry it out every day. Even if you're not training, you're not in the gym, you're still on point with your diet. That was the difference even coming into this tournament um, which made so much of a difference was my diet was so razor sharp this time. No cheat meals. I wasn't missing meals. Water was high, two gallons a day of water. And I was really tracking the macros. Cause at one point I kind of fell off with tracking mac macros. I would, but I wouldn't, you know, I would just be like, all right, I guess. But really, it's really just cause I pretty much eat the same thing for the most part every day. I really don't have much variety. And I know that's a whole other conversation in itself about you need to switch up your food, your body gets, I, what, okay. Maybe, yes, I'm, I'm sure there's some truth to that, but I really don't care right now. I relatively eat the same thing every day. I know exactly the carbs, proteins, fats, that's gonna be in it, if there's gonna be in any carbs whatsoever in whatever I'm eating. And I do count, okay, the vegetables. And if I'm using like, I do put honey mustard on the chicken or on my, my vegetables and things like that. So I do take that in consideration with, okay, how much carbs and the sugar content is in that. But overall, there's no carbs uh, in what I'm eating. And then of course, like I said, protein is high and then the fat content, healthy fats are high, are high but not as high as the protein count, right? So that's the thing. It's gonna require some discipline to stay with it, but you can absolutely get swole and you're gonna stay lean. Cause what I consider swole is not being, is not fat. You know, I see a lot of guys who claim that they're swole, but it's a fat swole. There, there's a difference, there's a difference here. And I, I used to be one of them. I used to think I was swole when I'm like, well, wait a minute, I got a little, a little pooch here. How can I say I'm swole, but I got a little, you know what I mean? Like I consider swole, even if you're trying to, you're gaining weight, you're on off season. And even I really don't believe that there's things as off season anymore. But um, if you're just the, the focal point, you're trying to get bigger. Yes, I know some body fat is gonna get on, it's gonna be put on you. You wanna keep it to a minimum, but it's not supposed to be overboard. You know, like you're off season or you're trying to make gains is not an excuse to get fat. Like there's a difference here. Or if you are happy with the size that you're at, you know, you feel strong, you know, you're big, but you do want to get leaner. Yes, absolutely. Fasting should be for you. You know, I was in Vegas, it was hot and you can't, you, you want to go to the pool. You can't make an excuse. I don't want to take my shirt off. I know plenty of dudes who hit the gym religiously, but their diet is trash and they don't want to take their shirts off at the pool. You know, they, they're all self-conscious because they know they, they they look good when they got the tight ass shirt. Look at me talking about tight ass shirts and I got one. But once it comes off, it's like, yeah, you've been slacking. You know, it's not just hitting the weights. It's being disciplined with going to the gym, but it's also being disciplined with eating properly. You know, trying to get as, as much rest as possible, making sure your water content is high, having the right frame of mind. You know, like I said, that's why a lot I'm doing a lot of these videos where it's just not about the workout, the workout, the workout. It's about the work ethic that comes with it. So when we start talking about fasting, I'm like, all right, 
I, if you want to fast, it is going to work. It is going to help. I will put my stamp of approval on it, but are you going to really seek, seek it through, see it through? Are you really going to do it? You know, you know, that's my catchphrase. Are you going to do it? I can give you the whole game plan, but are you going to do it? That's the point that I really try to come across when I, I put these videos out and I'm just like, really just, I'm just talking to you guys about what I do and what has got me to this point and what has helped me and what has worked for me. And I have to make sure I practice what I preach, you know? So yeah, I've been fasting now for three years consistently. Now, yes, there is, I will put one little negative that I noticed, and this is where the discipline does come into play when it comes to the output, the energy output. Like, like I said before, now my thing is jujitsu. You know, that's what I compete in. That's what I train in. So the energy output is going to be a little bit different as opposed to if I was just regular weight training, I'm just in the gym, you know, whatever, however many sets break, go back to another set, break, go back to another set. It's a little bit different versus when you're sparring and you're having those type of roles where it's just constant energy, 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 energy. I did notice I was getting tired faster while I was fasting. So I had to make adjustments when it comes to a day where I know it's going to be some serious hardcore training with jujitsu and weights, then yes, I'm going to cut the the time that i'm fasting a little bit shorter just so I'm, I'm able to get a little bit more meals in the fat content might increase and i do if you want to call it a carb load or um introduce carbs every couple of days um depending on how intense of a workout i'm gonna have that day or leading up to maybe a competition so i know okay if it's good if we're gonna have some competition training i know the output is gonna be insane so i, I do want to have a little bit of energy coming from glycogen as opposed to just coming from fat but other than that it's just discipline guys it's just having a mindset to say okay i'm going to do this program, stay on this program, and I'm gonna stay consistent with the program. You know, it, it, it's not so, it's not necessarily rocket science what we're doing as opposed to can you see it through and can you stay consistent with it? And if you can do that, you can, guys, you can stay swole. I'm telling you, you can get, you'll be surprised of what your body really needs and what we think it needs. I thought I need to be just shoving food just all day. I realized once I got better, uh, with being more strict, being more organized, and having just more of a work ethic, and just stop being a baby. Just cause I'm hungry, now I'm trying to run, like I'm I'm hungry, so now I need to feel like, what am I, a baby, what am I, a child? Shut up, I'm hungry, okay, I, I gotta wait. It's not time to eat yet. Go drink some water and shut up. So once I started to actually put all that into play, I realized like, oh, okay, that your body can do a lot more with less than what I think it, it needs. It, it's interesting. So anyway, go fast, be strict, be disciplined, and get your gains. I'm out.